All right, so before we jump into Edwin's ridiculous epic home studio setup, I wanna show you this Roland Juno DS 88 key velocity sensitive synthesizer. It's hammer action keys. It's got a vocoder with auto pitch and an eight track sequencer. Now, truth be told, I don't know that much about this keyboard. I'm literally just reading from the Sweetwater listing because I wanted something like this to have in the studio to be able to use and jam with people and record the audio outs. But truth be told, I don't know that much about keyboards, but this is like a new fascination with me as I wanna learn more about keyboards and synthesizers. But as of lately, there were two more things that I wanted to add to this studio. This was one of them, and another one is showing up next week. But in the meantime, if you guys wanna check this out, there's a link to it down in the description. Thank you, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about Edwin. Edwin owns Bunker 5 Music, which is a home studio. Now, Edwin's home studio is really a compound. Edwin is a custom home builder. He is a musician, a producer, an audio engineer, a dad. By the way, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. And he built this amazing home. First off, home, it's amazing. And then inside the home is a whole wing that is a nicer recording studio than a lot of commercial recording studios. It's so nice. So Edwin, thank you for having me out. It was so cool hanging and checking out the space. Thank you guys for watching these videos, hitting the like button and subscribing. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers and I really, really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and let's go check out Bunker 5 Music. My name is Edwin Portillo and we are at my home at Bunker 5 Music. All right, well, thank you so much for having me. This place is goals, serious you, goals in kind. here. Your background is in construction, right? Yes, I've worked in construction for 22 years. 22 years. That Three is yeah. very helpful for building a studio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Tell me a little bit about this whole like compound that you have here and the studio and why? Yeah, well, we, it, it's been growing from different, not, not a place I had before, then sold there, and then I've been building for so long. It's been a framer for almost 20 years. So I see all these ideas in different places and I'm yeah. like, oh, when I do my house, I'm gonna do this. When I do my house, I'm gonna do yeah. this. <laughs> and that's kind of how it is. But, you know, make it, make it story short, is always trying to bring everything together to, to match and not like, doing uh, one style, doing another style, but trying to make it flow all, all together. There is some serious flow in here. Thank you, um, Obviously, a ridiculous, beautiful home. Thank right you here. so much, man. But you also have somewhat of a nice studio in here that's connected. <laughs> would, would you mind kind of walking us in Yeah, there? let me show you Bunker 5, man. Welcome to the control room, Bunker 5 Music. <laughs> wow. How long have you had this place? Uh, we've been building in the house for five years and we've been building the studio for the last year and a half. Okay, so, so it's pretty new. Yes, uh, I had another studio before. Um, we used to be Simeon Music. We sold the, the house about five and a half years ago. Okay. So then we moved here to this property and, and then it was time to let the other one go, but we, uh, we wanted to build from a place of being debt free. Yes. We didn't want to get, you know, like having loans and, and having all this stuff. So we had some of the gear, I mean, probably half of the gear, if not more. Yeah. And I just moved everything to a room upstairs. And, and as we were building, I had my little setup there if I needed to do sure, yeah, yeah. any mixing or, or, or any production that I was capable to. But uh, I wanted to put all the, all the years of learning uh, acoustics and and shapes of rooms and, and how, to, how you can get the flattest frequency possible in a room. So it, it, it's, it's, taking, it's taking some time, but it's, we're very happy with the product. This whole studio place has multiple rooms, right? So yes. before we walk through, just what, what are we looking at here? What yeah, so have? we have the control room with the closet, which we have the Leslie for the B3, but it can also be, be, it can also be a amp room if you need it to yeah. for the last minute. Now, a lot of things are digitally, but Sure. If you need, uh, you know, anything, we don't waste any space. <laughs> Man, it's it's so nice. I mean, it's a luxury 
to even have a B3, but to have the Hammond in here and the Leslie yeah. out there yes. is yes. so awesome. Yeah, and we, oh, yeah. when we wanted to have like most of the, uh, my main instrument is, is been keys and, and yeah. for oh, okay. years. So I wanted to have all, you know, be able to create in here, have everything ready to go. Yeah. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be back and forth from, from the tracking room, uh, which is in the other room. Sure. And and I can walk you through through it if if you guys sure, yeah, allow let's go me check to. It out. Wow. We have a <laughs> tracking tracking room. The big fan of big ceilings, huh? <laughs> yes. Concrete floors. Uh, you go big or go home, right? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I saw one uh, almost a, almost a two second uh, uh, decay on this wow. guy. Wow. A lot of people do panels and, and hanging panels, but yeah, if if you can do it where your numbers are correct, yes, uh, then you have no reflection actually. Just everything becomes deficient. Man, how was it drywalling this room? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. It took a while. We had to rent a main lift actually to be yeah. able to get get higher. Uh, we did lo load a mass vinyl uh, okay. first. Yeah. So that that joker is heavy. Yeah. I mean, just hanging the loaded mass vinyl was very very heavy. And then we have two layers of five eighths drywall. In between, we have a half inch of uh, sa sound board okay. with green glue in between. Wow. So it's very isolated. Yeah. We have a train that that goes. In, we have rail track in the back. Oh yeah. That goes by. Yeah. Um, once you close all the doors, I mean, you you can you can be tracking the strings and you don't hear it. Yeah, so I noticed double doors there, then mm -hmm. you have a sound lock, and then the yeah. exterior doors, same over there, double door with a sound lock. Yes, the, nice. the idea is to create a space in between, but nothing touching with each other. Sure, yeah. So that's kind of what we did. We lost a lot of space because of the, the thickness of the walls. Yeah. Um, like I, everything yes. is floated. Uh, the room the inside there is floated, you know, than the outside wall. Mm -hmm. So if you get again the vocal, there's a vocal booth or or, get, or acoustic guitar booth, whatever you want to put in there, um, it's, it's pretty dead. Like, so am I saying one, two, three, four booths in here? We have four booths in here, uh, and then even the closet is soundproof too. Yeah, so, I saw you got a workbench in there, which we, is we so do because nice, we build our cables and stuff. Everything we build it here. Yeah, man. Uh, it's a mess in there, but right now it's we storage all our mics and and a uh, bunch of tools, cables. Okay, and then, so these are kind of, what, like standard vocal booth? Yeah, the idea was to build, we named this one a B3 because um, originally we were gonna do this guy, uh, have a Hammond here yeah. and have the B3 in there, yeah. but. Um, Is that a U67? Yes, a U67. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a, and you got the nice sconces it's, in there. It's ready to go. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah, so something that I noticed on the old studio that I didn't have was isolation for, for drums because I, I, when you have a big, a big room, mm -hmm. you get more players that wanna do everything at the same time. So yeah. I was having more bleeding, you know, even though you can you know, do a guitar cab and all that, but I was having a lot of bleeding. So what I wanted to create here was to be able to isolate the drums if we were to want to track everything at the same time. Yeah. So we got a drum, a drum room uh, we just had a percussion session recently, so all the drums are out, but yeah, but this, that was can, a... this can be like a tight uh, room for drums, you know, wow. more like pop and yeah, get the cloud up there. I don't have the hanging cloud out there for sure. That couldn't have been fun to hang. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's an amp booth over here, oh, which right gosh, now is, I love the colors becomes of storage, that. but yeah. So what, what is the, on the walls here? Uh, so we have a double wall, um, and then we have 703. It's actually there. Okay. That's a, a, a two inch 703. Is that on a track? On Is that like track. a fabric wall mm -hmm. kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then we have the hanging cloud with 703 as well. That's great. We did isolate the, the window, so we have insulated glass. Oh, yeah. Um, something I wanted to have was some kind of lighting. Yep. But I didn't want it to just see through, you know. So can you tell me about the HVAC? Yeah, so we have five tons of air running here. Uh, we had to do a 20 feet long trunk that goes in like loops around. Yeah. And it has like the damping before. There's a filter system inside next to the unit uh, wow. with rubber 
and then everything goes to three uh, returns uh, that are up on the ceiling. Yeah. And then we have a return um, on the vocal booth and we have a return in the drum mm -hmm. room. Okay. That's so good. all that is to be able to quiet how the room breathes. You know? yeah. And then we have more than usual uh, uh, supplies. Yeah. So the air just flo uh, flows yeah. better, you know. In the winter, it can be a little warmer up there and colder here. Yeah. But we prefer to be colder in the bottom anyways because you know you, you get 20 people 20 piece choir here yeah i mean they will get hot quick so yeah yeah it's uh summers are hot here yeah and then this vocal booth here actually got some drums in there but oh yeah that's a nice size and you got windows in all of these which is not easy yeah yeah because reflection and in like these doors too are these that's wood? Our, solid that's our, wood? like heavy and um, I had to actually buy the, the laminated glass for these guys. Yeah. Because that normally would give you like like insulated glass. Oh. But the insulated glass doesn't do the work other than the Holy laminated. Holy cow. You know. Dude, that's and, awesome. And both walls are not touching. There's just this rubber that is. Ah, yeah. So nothing wow. touches. There's no vibration. I'm a, I'm a wood fan, but my wife is not. Not so much, so <laughs> we had to fight a little bit about yeah. aesthetic versus practicality. And, yeah. And, you know, but we, we, we find a, a good compromise. And, and yeah, then we, we want to create, like, if you want to do like a live session here, yeah. stream it, you can still have like a 25 to 30 people audience. Oh, yeah. Up there in the, in the balcony, and everything is wired, like, even the closet is wired to record anything you need. Like, yeah. there's, there's lines everywhere. Uh, in the living room of the house, we have 24 channels that mirror this this uh, this um, panel. Panel, and if I, if I need to do like an acoustic set, um, actually the same the same uh, panel that you see here is what's in the house. A mirrored, yeah. Yeah, All with right. the MIDI cable and everything. Did you get those from Redco? Like we, custom We got made? those ma made from Redco. Yeah, Skinny Fish is the the person that helped us. Nice. The company that helped us with all the wiring. That's a lot. They did a great job. A lot of uh, wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these boxes. Yeah. That's a lot. That's of wire, a lot bro. of wire. <laughs> it, it took a lot. Um, Mike Mike Rhodes is the, the the brain behind how do we route. you know route everything. He did a phenomenal job. He's a great dude. I mean, that's awesome. I love Mike. He's he's a great dude. So, I mean, everything we have we have lines up there in the balcony as well. So since you have all of these, you must have a pretty extensive patch bay that. You know, one panel says live room one, three, two. That means on your patch bay, it's going to say live room one, two, Everything. three, or whatever. And you know, I'm on channel three of live room three. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. So we have everything labeled from one to like 96 inputs. Wow. Yeah. And everything says it goes per banks, yeah. whatever things are at. But it makes it easier because you don't have all these wires going from here sure, to yeah. across the room and you just can go more to whatever you need them. How do you like it in here? I love it. I mean, we, op we just opened in January, and I mean, we've done some, some very cool stuff. We love it. Yeah. The sounds are great. This room just breathes. It's like a, it's like a campus. Yeah. And you can just write whatever you want. You know, you, if you place the drums five feet be be behind where it is right now, you get a whole different tone than if you do them uh, sure, five man. feet forward from where they are right now. Um, we're able to capture the room pretty well. And, um, and you guys were what doing a drum sample session in here? We did a drums, uh, a drums, a drum sample recently with Peyton from Drum Sample drum Shop. Drum Sample Shop, yeah. They they did a hip hop um, library, man. They crushed it. So we we yeah. set up a kit here, and then we set up a kit in the drum room. And it was like a smaller kit, and it was man, the samples they were getting was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, it was a. Uh tinkering around, hitting the drums in here, and the, the decay is yeah. so beautiful. It's beautiful. And that snare, that's yours, right? That's my snare. But the funniest thing is that we actually are using SM57s, and it was more like, man, come on, guys, we have like way better mics than that. Yeah. More expensive mics sure. than that. The, the, the tones that we're getting from these guys is like, you know what? Yeah. Let's go back to the basics. They sound yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, the WFL3 toms sound so great. I was really impressed. P16s, headphone systems everywhere. Exactly. Ethernet, which makes life so much easier. We have a big room uh, lounge. We are building a new lounge downstairs, but we have a lounge upstairs okay. uh, with a full bathroom and just in case an artist is here and wants to take a shower and freshen up. And yeah. I'd love to show you guys. Yeah. Here, I'll follow you. I love being in a studio that doesn't feel 
like gross. Yeah, you just trying to create the creativity for us is pretty important. So I want to make sure we can make people feel welcome and make them feel like you know they can create. Um, wow. This room is more. It was more like a style as a lounge, but at the end of the day, we're like, what about if we just a build like a writing room, room? You know? Yeah. So this is killer. So and you got a little. You got a little kitchenette, kitchenette going on kitchenette. here. Microwave. Yeah, got a full bathroom. That is nice. Here for a client who wants to come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a nice shower. Holy cow. Yeah, this is great. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a, a booth just in case. Um, man, these diffusers are so cool. Yeah, I built this myself. This is my signature diffuser. The same, same with the one downstairs. Do you have a CNC machine? How are you making We do this? have a CNC machine in the house, yes. We own one in the shop. Oh my gosh. And you got the, the stretch system on the mm -hmm. walls too. That is so clean. I wanted to make sure we keep consistency of the wood. So you see white oak contrast. Yep. You know, with everything except the maple on the front of those panels. But... Wow. And they're all at like different angles. Yes. They are Good job. shooting different places for diffusion. You can get to a place of creativity. It makes it so much welcoming. Um, but what I like about it is you can come to the balcony. Extra vocal booth for yeah, the writing room. For the writing room, just in case. <laughs> Does that also go downstairs? You, you can. Yeah. Oh my you can. gosh. Everything is networked to downstairs. That is so cool. But if I need to borrow a preamp from downstairs, I can. Wow. The routing is admirable. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, we still have eight lines over here too. Whoa. The idea was to do some kind of orchestra. And, oh. Wow. And, uh, we can daisy chain uh, PM16s here. You can have some people just with headphones. Man, the lighting is so cool. This this concept, indirect yeah. lighting. Yeah, it's not cool. Yeah. Especially in the evenings when these lights are off, yeah. it, it makes it very cozy. Man, how cool. We have a pipe inside the walls already, and the next step will be to do a, a lighting system, like different color lighting system. Yeah. And uh, that we can control from the control room and different videos. And this would be such a great place to do videos. It'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, you can bring gear from out. I mean, we have a lot of power. We have 400 amps of, of electricity. So if you need to, you know, bring some gear, we can put a generator outside. As far as I'm concerned, we can. We can handle. <laughs> we can handle that, you know. <laughs> and you made all these as we well. We made all these ourselves, man. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah. What's behind there? Seven hundred three. Seven hundred three. We have fabric in between, just to, so you don't see the yellow. Yeah. And there's that's some. Nice. They have set. We have seven hundred five in different places as well. Gosh, these are so well made. That's fun. So where do you keep the tools? <laughs> well, I'll show you the shop if you want. It's a man. I'll show you the shop. Come on. <laughs> What computer are you running in here? I am actually just migrate my M, uh, my uh, Mac Mini that I had, and I just migrated to a new Mac Studio. And the only thing I'm having problems is, is a Waves. Oh yeah, always. Uh, but other than that, everything is it's uh, working very very smooth. Mac Mini was doing a phenomenal job. It's the last generation from the Intel's. Yeah. Because you know things were just updating, uh, but they just came out with a new uh, Mac Studio and. Uh, I just plug it in, it's amazing. It's like flawless. So you, you've got Pro Tools, is this Ultimate? This is Pro, Pro Tools Ultimate with the AX. The, uh, okay. Yeah, we're running a, a one, one AX card uh, on the chassis. Okay. And then we're using the burrows as a, a, the sound uh, card, hmm. the mothership. Is that, how many I.O. is that? So we have four, uh, 40 in, 40 outs. <sighs> Which it will be probably more than what we will yeah. Tracking yeah. that live That's nice though. Setting. I mean, you can have a, <laughs> let's do an orchestra, 40 mics, all right, let's Dude, do it. yeah. Yeah. And then all the, everything oh, is labeled yeah. and colored uh, inputs, outputs, um, inputs on the bottom, outputs on the top, like it should be. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like, agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the old studio was backwards <laughs> and it was a, a nightmare. So you've got a setup over here with like the Avid controllers. Yeah, we have the S1s. S1s, uh, which is sort of remote control pretty much. Nice. And, uh, we have three, uh, four S1s and we have the dock in the middle, which which I'm using more and more. Okay. It's very, very flexible. 
I think uh, uh, Abby has done a very good job. But we, we are old school, so we have this analog Excel desk from SSL, and which has the Master G compressor that is glue. Yeah. So are these returns? They are you returns. You can output so to I this. So I can still mix, or I can track through it. Yeah. And uh, I ha we have eight preamps. Uh, then we have the eight EQs, and then I'm trying uh, the, the Rupert Neves, the 551s. Yeah. And uh, we're still going to put more stuff in, but I haven't decided what yet. I'm trying different things. That's cool. Yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, it's a great board. Um, I use that a lot for final mix, but when I'm mixing, I'm summing everything, and, and then I do like a stereos of, of different. Sure. And then, you know, it just the imaging is impressive. Nice. Very, very good. But we also have a few, like if I want to use more aggressive, I can go with the API, that 2500. Sure, yeah, that's a great compressor. Um, this guy we got recently, which I think is, I think it's cool. It's, it's a little bright, I would say. No, that's a, like a mastering kind of mm -hmm. bus compressor yeah, it's like thing. like a bus compressor kind of thing. It has a little bit of color. We want to do a camper, you know, depending if you want to do. Mm. We don't have to, we don't want to do the whole amp miking and all that. And we yeah. have a big library in there too. That's killer. So you have to have the 1176s. Yeah, man. You got a variety too. That's nice. Yeah, this company in Bluey actually impresses, impressed me because you can blend how much you can, you know, how, how much you want to use. A pair of distressors, a tube tech, which we need another one probably. Yeah. You can never of have course. enough. Of course, You on. have to have a pair of everything, right? That is that is a big problem I have. It's like, <laughs> like, oh, I really want to try that, but I need two. Yeah. Probably will sign with two. Like this Rupert Neve, I think I'm going to give me another one too. Uh, it's pretty cool. That's is that a one channel? Yes, yeah, one but channel. But that's like a full channel, mm -hmm. right? EQ, compressor. Yeah, they crushed it though. Amazing. Anything Ripper Neve and the channelers that you can have go wrong with. You know, the CG2s. Love, love the Focusrite, the RAID. One of the best things they Focusrite created. We have a pair of Ventex. Ventex, and AMS. We have a pair of uh, Neves. Oh, and you got the undertones. How do that you have undertone these? is a bad boy, man. I'm very impressed with that because they're not trying to imitate some and old then, school stuff. Okay, yeah. So this is like a keyboard mm -hmm. sampler. Triton, man. Yeah, the sweet good old sounds and the motif, you know. Now, if you don't have the big old 88 keys. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. So Actually, I made this myself. This is so cool. Yeah. Outboard rack with I, uh, the keyboard tray. I, I part time for a company that, that they just move up, up north, but they were in town for a very long time. And, and I did a lot of carpent, carpentry yeah. on my free time. Wow, this arterial controller feels good. And I'm about to build another rack uh, to this guy so we can do more gear and move the keywords up. This is so nice, man. Oh, profit. Yeah, got that profit. profit. And you got the sub 37. Yeah. Wow. I'm just about, I'm like, I'm just starting to get into synths. This is, it's a, it's a bad habit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, of course, the North Stage 3, that's yeah, those are the beautiful. boss of the boss. Dude, the Karma, I had that Karma just for the one sound. Sound uh, 99, pad. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It was always cool, and it has some senti sentimental value to me oh, uh, man, when, I, when I moved to the States in 97. Uh, so I was born uh, in LA, just to give a little more of my background. Oh, my yeah. My parents were immigrants. And uh, I was five years old when we moved to El Salvador. Oh, uh, okay. So I grew up in El Salvador. When I turned 18, um, I moved to the States, following my sister. Oh. And then uh, I didn't, I didn't, I had to learn English again. So, yeah. so I, you know, I started working in construction because it's like, that's the only place I can communicate with people. Yeah. And uh, that's how and it started. And was that in LA? No, I was here in Nashville. Nashville, I, I okay. I went straight to Nashville. All right. So that was What fun. year was that? 97. 97. November the 3rd, 1997. It's a good time to move to Nashville. Yeah. I should have bought some more property. Yeah, like dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would have been sitting on some money right now. Uh, so we can move into some uh, 500 series yeah. uh, stuff. Wow, man, this is we got so eight cool. APIs, eight channels of APIs, 512s, two, a pair of germaniums. Then we had the launch box in the bottom, which we are about to upgrade to another, another big one. Uh, five, 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 511s from Rupert Neve, then a, a pair of burrows, a pair of shadow heels. We try to keep every, the most of the stuff we have in pairs. Yeah. On the other side, we have some APIs. EQs and um, Mach. Uh, we got the Brad 
Um, the brats? Yeah, the brats are from an um, inward connection, sorry. And then a, a pair of compressors from API, and then you got... I can tell you about these different times, huh? Mm -hmm. So, pre-EQ, pre-EQ, pre's, and then pre. Four. Yeah. And this is a compressor, right? That's a compressor, yeah. That's the That's a pretty good one, huh? That's a very good one, actually. Yeah. Pretty good <laughs> Shadow Hills makes that. That's a small version of the big old guy. What kind of stuff are you working on? Do you, so, or do you like to work on? Uh, man, I like to work, any, anything that has a positive message, man, I'm in, you know? Yeah. Uh, I try to stay away from the negativity yeah. and, and all the other stuff, but um, many if it's positive, you know, if, if, if it's uplifting, we, we love it, man. Anything, pop, country, uh, rock, I mean, yeah. anything, just, we do it, you know? Yeah, we do a lot of uh, Latin music too, a lot of pop, Latin. Uh, some uh, CCM stuff, so yeah, you know, Nashville's music for sure. For all that, there's so. a lot of lot of that yeah. clientele here. Yeah, and then we get we get a bunch of stuff from um, like South Central America or South America. Oh, cool. Uh, people just fly to to have the natural experience. So. Heck yeah, you know that's something we're working right now. Uh, phase two of Bunker Five. We're actually building a lounge uh, and, and we have a pool house on the first floor, but second floor is like a little apartment. Yeah. And it's gonna have a one bedroom with 12 bunk beds and then a suite on the, <laughs> on the, on the other side. Oh my that gosh. Way, if you're like an artist that coming from out of, out of state or out yeah. of, you know, from, from other country, yeah. it, it makes it a lot easier to, to stay in the same place. Absolutely. Bring the whole family. Yeah, bring the whole family. So you got the barefoot monitors. Yes. How do you like those? I love these guys, man. I had them for, I would say probably had them for about 10 years, um, which I didn't use them a lot for five. Um, but they're great, man. They're, to me, I feel they're very transparent. I'm, I'm, I'm very used to how they sound. Um, of course, you have the Meme control that you can get up yep. to, you know, four different sounds from it. Um, and it's amazing. I mean, I, I like I like him. I'm, I would like to get the bigger guys. Yeah. So we're kind of talking to uh, Barefoot about that. Yeah. Uh, see if we can get like a, the bigger set. You know what blows my mind is these sound anchor stands. Yeah, they are. These are crazy. Yeah, and I don't have them on, on pins. Yeah. So a lot of people put them on pins. They put blocks and all that. Yeah. Um, I feel that I still get the points that I'm getting the way they're set up right now. Um, this is crazy. Look how it mounts to the speaker. What is up with this? Yeah, this is a bracket, man. This is a bracket they got. Is this a set like sound anchors? Like just put these holes in your speaker? No, that, actually, Barefoot makes it so. So the speaker comes with these four, four, four handles. Okay. So, so then all you have to do is remove a, a pair yeah. of handles, and then um, they become the holes for your for your sound anchors. And. And then they go on the side uh, with the bracket in the middle. It's just trying to be a solution. So you oh, don't want vibration. And, and can you rotate this? You can, yeah. Oh, they, there's a setup that you can. Yeah. yeah. I prefer in this way. I, yeah. I just, I'm just used to it. Yeah. Uh, they, they do another model. I think it's the 26. Yeah. And they actually have uh, a Twitter with uh, another guy here. Mm. And then, you know, that's the, the ones that are actually better too. Well, I like, I like the 27s. I'm, I'm very used to them. You don't need a sub, they they kick butt yeah. just the way they are. Yeah. But we wanna get the, the bigger guys. So yeah, the, man, it's so clean back here. I Thank love you, how clean everything we is. We still wanna have access if we need to roll uh, send a pipe to anywhere, but Yeah, this is this is awesome. Uh, the fusion design, color, routing. And then uh, so you'll have a pool and we'll come back and yes. we'll have a pool party, yeah. drum sesh. Of if somebody who's watching this wants to reach out to you or book time or build a house, yeah, where where can Man, they do just that? Just go to bunkerfivemusic.com. 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 You have everything. If you want some merch, yeah, okay, you know, yeah. it's clean merch too. <laughs> My wife is. I know this man. It's, it's nice. Amazing. The hats and there's a lot of merch you can. And it matches the signs. I love the signs you have yeah, on each room. Doing, man. She's, that's that's clean. She's the genius behind all that, man. That's a, that's yeah. great. Okay, bunker5music.com. Yes. Do you have like Instagram and stuff? We have Instagram. Yeah, bunker5music yep. uh, and Instagram. Um, I think that's how we have Instagram. Maybe I don't do it, so maybe my wife does. Okay, cool. <laughs> but if you go to uh, bunker5music and Instagram, you, you there'll know. be like an email or yeah. a form or something. Yeah. 
Cool. Yeah, and everything is linked from the website. So anything you need to know about it, phone number, email, social media, it's on the site. That's great. Gear list. Good job, man. Thank you, Thank man. Thank you so much for Appreciate having time, me. Man. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, hit the like button, leave a comment. Go check out, I put all his links down in the description and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.